Let's plot the graph of the natural log function so that y equals ln of x. Now let's consider two inputs a and b and plug them into the function resulting in natural log of a and natural log of b respectively. Suppose we want to find the area between the curve and the x-axis over the interval a, b. This area is represented by the definite integral from a to b of the natural log of x dx. One way to find this area is to start with the large b by natural log of b rectangle shown here, which has an area given by the quantity b times natural log of b. Then we can remove the area of this smaller rectangle, which is an a by natural log of a rectangle, so has area a times the natural log of a. Finally, we also have to remove this region right here. Because the natural log function and the exponential function are inverses, this curve is represented by x equals e to the y, so this area can be interpreted as the definite integral from natural log of a to natural log of b of e to the y dy. So this strategy has replaced the integral of interest with a separate integral, but using the fact that the antiderivative of e to the y is e to the y, and e to the natural log of x equals x for all positive values, we obtain the fact that this definite integral is b minus a. Therefore, the integral from a to b of natural log of x dx is equal to b times the natural log of b minus a times the natural log of a minus the quantity b minus a. By grouping the b terms together and the a terms together, we see that we get this as the difference of two terms of the form x times the natural log of x minus x, where x is b and x is a. In addition to finding the desired area visually, this diagram has also uncovered the interesting fact that an antiderivative of the natural log of x is x times the natural log of x minus x.